But Cicero had great um, courage in the political realm, but he also thought, and he told his son in this very moving part that he, he wrote to him, that he ought to go study philosophy before he entered public life because philosophy has a role to play in showing citizens something about what they should be doing. And I think what he, he thought was particularly, you learn to think well about justice, about what your duties are as a good person in this life, and you learn it in a kind of liberal education that he fostered and that he really believed in. And so I, I do believe that that's true, that I think all undergraduates should be studying some philosophy. But then, of course, some of us uh, have the opportunity, and, and then I think if we have the opportunity, maybe we also have the duty to, to write in the public realm and to try to influence the way policy is done in, in some manner. It's, it's very hard have, with the decline in print journalism, and it's very hard to figure out where you write and so on. But anyway, I think some of us, uh, if we can do it, we, we should. And John Rawls once took me to lunch at Bartley's Burger Cottage, I, I must say, it, in Cambridge. And uh, I, I was thinking of writing a review for the New York Review of Books. And I said, look, should I do it? It doesn't seem like the sort of thing the profession thinks well of. He said, well, he said, I can't do that. But if you can do it, then you have a duty to do it. So I really listened to that. And I, I've tried very hard to do that. Yeah. 